I've got my, uh, Juve. Ooh. Red light device. Come check this out. You guys are gonna love it. Hey, it's Alex here from alexfergus.com. So today I want to do a quick overview, review, and uh, EMF test with my Cornet device here of my Juve. My Juve body, uh, body panel, body light. This is the uh, little instruction manual that came with it. Full body light therapy guide. Anyway, so this is the combo 660 nanometer with the uh, near infrared 850 light. Uh, so 660 and 850 nanometer light coming through here. It's their um, original panel. Uh, they've got a smaller one, which is I think half the size of this. Oh, yeah, half the size of this. And um, they've got a much bigger one, which is wider and longer, which is a couple thousand bucks. But to be honest, it'd be a bit better. Anyway, so I just wanted, uh, I've had this for a couple weeks now. I just wanted to give you my quick overview. And then what I'm going to do is actually test the EMF rating on it uh, with my Cornet meter here. So um, quickly, for those that don't know anything about red light, I've got a full article on, on the benefits called the fascinating effects, healing effects or something like that of red light therapy. I'll put a link in the uh, description below. So go check that out. I don't want to explain red light and everything here, but, um, you anyway, know, this light, uh, this device is pretty cool because they do measure or they do give you your, your, uh, power density. Uh, and also you can see the wavelength, right? Some other brands don't even tell you what wavelength it is. Um, so what do I like? I mean, I've been using this every day for anything from 10 to 20 minutes. Um, just exposed in different areas, my back, sides, face, and all that on, um, with the light. Uh, what I've found so far, and again, still early days, probably two or three weeks in, I have found, uh, I had some sensitive teeth, uh, some, some higher gums on a particular side from, from a mouth guard that used to rub and so cold water and stuff you know I was quite sensitive to that I found and that's been happening for about two years I've found that since I've started using this um the sensitivity has decreased uh coincidence maybe but I mean I tried all sorts of things to help with that sensitivity uh and I am spending a few minutes with the the cheek exposed and front front on with my mouth open so that's one good thing less tooth pain which is huge and in fact there's a lot of evidence around that uh to show how effective it is Secondly, uh, this might be a little bit TMI, too much information, but I'm gonna put it out there anyway. Um, I do have a little bit of a, a this growth, like a, a cyst type thing, which is perfectly fine. Uh, you know, doctors look at it, it's no issues, but it, it's shrunk. It's, it's a massively shrunk in size. Uh, it's incredible. Um, and again, coincidence, I, I have noticed it had got small different times in my life. Uh, I've had this for about 15 years. But it's never got this small and it's only started getting a lot smaller since I've started this. And again, sorry if it's TMI. And the last thing, this is definitely sort of earmuffs for the kids. Um, I'm pretty sure my balls are a little bit bigger uh, after using this. So uh, there we go. Had to say it. I mean, you asked for my opinion, right? Anyway, so um, what do I like about it? It's intense. It is a good uh, power rating. Uh, it's got the good wavelengths in there as well, um, the 660 and the 850. Uh, this cool little um, pulley system allows me to lower it and, and raise it. Came with a neat little timer, and I know this is probably nothing special. Ooh, let's try to get the focus going on here. Um, there we go. Uh, but it's got a countdown timer, so you can set it for 5 minutes or 10 minutes. Or go the other way, count up. But the cool thing is it's got a magnet, so it just clicks onto the side or on top, and it will beep when, when the time's up. So, I mean, again, nothing major, but trust me, like, it's so awesome. You just set it for your seven minutes or whatever, and hear the beep and alternate and turn sides. Um, and, uh, yeah, let me let me turn it on and show, show you this puppy. It's quite bright. Uh, so, you know, at night time, it will light up the whole room. And um, so what do I do? I mean, again, I typically read my book. Here's what I'm reading at the moment. Paleocardiologist. And um, I'll just hang out here, turn around, same thing on the side. Uh, when I go front on, obviously, I'm not reading the book. But, um, you yeah. know, so that's how I'm using it. Um, occasionally, I'll drop it down to the floor um, because it doesn't go all the way down. Um, and we'll do my lower limbs as well. And um, yeah, I want to do more on my face and even my head. I'm curious to see if it will help with uh, hair growth because I, I'm starting to lose it. I have seen some studies showing that it will help. Um, so yeah, obviously that's going to be 
side and all that sort of jazz. And anyway, I need to experiment with that and maybe take some before and after photos. So, yeah, and you can see the pattern, like, it, not all of them are glowing, and that's because the ones not glowing are putting out um, infrared light, which is not visible to the eye. So, if you've got an infrared camera, you'd see them. There's a very little amount of heat, which is a good thing. There shouldn't be much heat at all, because the light is, um, it's wasted. I mean, it's inefficient, I guess, the design. Um, there are fans in it, so apparently you can run it all day. Uh, not that you'd probably want to, but... Yeah, it doesn't overheat or anything like that. So, now for the EMF test. I have my Cornet uh, smart meter, electro smart meter. I do have my computer right here with all the cables, but I've just turned everything off. Uh, there's no Wi-Fi or Bluetooth or anything. My aura rings on a airplane mode. The only thing working is this when I switch it on and the camera, which is filming this, which doesn't have Wi-Fi or anything. So I'm hoping there isn't too much interference. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I am going to leave this a finger width distance, uh, so what, 10 centimeters or so from the um, panel, which is uh, two or three inches. Uh, I'm going to turn it on and I'm going to compare all the numbers. So at the moment we're on uh, the first setting uh, and it's in the green zone. So you want to pay attention to this light down the bottom as well as the numbers on the screen. And again, it's about 10, 15 centimeters, which is typically where I stand. So that's good, there's nothing here. Uh, we go up to the low frequency 600, and we're in the green, low frequency 30, and we bounce between green and, and yellow there. Okay, so th this is with it off, remember. Uh, and then electric field, we're in the green as well. So now I'm going to turn it on. Hopefully, uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this because it's so bright. Yeah, you're not going to be able to see it. Okay, I'm zoomed right in here. Alright, so it's picked up a little bit, but we're still in the green. Tell a lie. Okay, so with this, we're at 0 0.0013 to 0 0.0018. Turn it on, and it stays exactly the same. Okay, in the low frequency, we're at 0 0.1. Turn it on, 0.4. So it did bump up, but that's still in the green range, which is fine. Oh, it's up to 0.6 if I put it really close. Okay, if I put it like a centimeter off, we're at one, which is the, the bottom level of uh, orange. It's actually, so up at one, it was bouncing between the, the green and the orange there. So, and that was right up against it, which is, you, you're not doing here anyway. I mean, you don't need to, because it's a, it's a powerful one. All right, we'll go to the low frequency 30. So already this is in the, the bottom orange. There we go, I'm gonna turn it on now. Okay, so it's, it's jumping up to the higher orange here. So it's gone from, it's gone from, uh, 0 0.01, point, sorry, 0 0.09, so let's just call it 0.1. I'm gonna turn it on now. And we're up to 0 0.47, 0 0.57, 0 0.6, 0.45. So it's jumped up about four or five points there, or times, but it's still in the yellow, all right? And that's 10, 15 centimeters. Uh, 10 centimeters, 15 centimeters. The further out I come, we're right back down to 0.15 and I'm, what, about 15 centimeters out there. Um, so they say, keep it, what do they say? Six inches, I think it is. Uh, yeah, they, okay, so they say six inches, which is way out here. And to be honest, like way out here at six inches, is 
still in the green zone or in the bottom orange so 0.14 without it on it was 0.10 like 0.01 so if you're following their prescription it's not an issue at all if you're starting to get close you'll see it pick up here so there we go this is with my fingers touching it and we've got point 0.55, 0.58 will come out an inch, 0.3, another inch, 0.18, another inch. Yeah, I mean, look, if you follow their prescription, it's fine. You're already in the green zone there. Uh, and then the last one is electric field, which is rock bottom. It's, there's not an issue there, even right up. So yeah, that's, this is tested with my, um, Quantite Electro Smog Meter. That's a particular model. Um, so, what are my conclusions from that? If you're following their prescription, their recommendations, it's perfectly fine. So, they're saying uh, 60 joules of energy with 10 minutes when sitting or standing 6 inches from the device. If you're 6 inches from this device, according to my meter, fine. No EMF issues at all. If you're getting quite close, you know, one or two inches in, then you are getting some of that low frequency exposure. Still in the orange range though. Um, you know, to be honest, like most people are living in, or with my computer on, I'm in the orange range, like where I stand, it's, it's quite bad. So it's not alarming, I mean, it's not great, but you're only using it for five, 10 minutes. And that's if you're really close, but you don't have to get close because the beauty is it's powerful enough you can stand a certain distance. So some of the cheaper red light devices uh, don't put out, don't have the same power density, which means you have to be right up against it, right? So those ones, obviously, you know, they're a lot cheaper, but then you're getting the EMF issues. What am I gonna do? Um, to be honest, I kind of stand, you know, yay distance from it. Um, occasionally, I probably get a little bit closer. If I'm rushed for time, I do go closer, because you're getting that the more energy within a shorter time period. Like if I'm really rushed and I just want to hit all the body, I will do that. But if I've got more time, I'll stand a little bit further away. So yeah, that's the EMF. That's the Juv. That's my thoughts. If you're gonna buy one, um, look here's my here's my recommendation based on my couple weeks of having it. Get the biggest one you can afford. <laughs> like honestly, this one's good. Uh, let me show you the full the full thing. So yeah, that that's that's the full panel, right? Um, if you're going to get one, get one, get the biggest one you can afford, all right? Um, because like when I do my back, you know, I've got quite a wide back, so you can, <laughs> you don't do the whole thing. So you're going to do it in two halves, right? Like you do this half and then you got to do that half. Uh, likewise with the front, um, you know, I'm not getting full body. So I, I kind of wish, you know, if I had the funds, I'd get the full one. Another thing as well, the full one, the bigger one is a little bit longer. Uh, so that's five. I think the full one's seven. Now that's important because if you want to do your face, your torso and your genitals, cause there's a lot of, um, testosterone benefits and libido and all that sort of stuff, then, um, you can't kind of get it all in. <laughs> so like it's kind of at nose eye level and kind of at general level. So I've, I've got to choose which one I want to prioritize. And I want to focus on this as well, see if I can get some hair growing back. Um, so that means I've got to crouch down for a bit, or sit down, and then I've got to come up. For... So again, if, if you had the long one, you wouldn't have to do that. Um, what else can I say? Um, yeah. So yeah, I, I'd get the biggest one possible that I could afford if I had all the money in the world. Uh, but otherwise, what I'd recommend and what I'm thinking of doing is actually getting a, a bulb, like a handheld bulb, and using this and then using the bulb like on my head or hand holding it or getting a, I don't know, a lamp stand and using the bulb as well and then i figured like with the bulb is i could do spot treatment you know if i hurt my knee i can just use that when i'm watching television so then that way that's a little bit more cost effective you, you know you pay a thousand dollars for this a couple hundred bucks for the bulb twelve hundred dollars right otherwise you get the full panel which is like two or three grand, you know, quite expensive. The mini one, I don't see much point in the mini one. I suppose it'd be good for face or back and stuff, but you know, you might as well get something that's going a little bit bigger um, and then get the bold supplement. Anyway, I'm talking too much. So yeah, any questions, leave them below. Uh, if you've tested your own with other devices, let me know as well. Uh, hopefully that's provided a bit of a, a solution or answer to those who are curious around the EMF side. 
It's not a concern for me as long as you're a few inches off, which is exactly what they tell you to do anyway, so that's good. Uh, check out my article below on Red Light if you have no idea why I'm doing all this stuff. And um, be sure to subscribe to my channel for more random videos like this and uh, my, my weekly vlog. And yeah, that's all.